Hello and welcome back to the Definitive XCOM LP. I'm Jade Star. And I'm Guava Moment. So here's our first real mission. Uh, this is an abduction mission. No, I actually forgot where it's going, but we're gonna go get some engineers. And we've got our first signups to be our new soldiers for the threat. Sprawl, I like your hair. Very nice. <laughs> Sprawl was the first one that wanted guile hair. The only hair. <laughs> That's bonus series? It's Argentina, it's close okay. enough. Moving into Argentina next. The threat there seems to be the most pressing. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major metropolitan area. We should get down there and eliminate any hostiles. So, uh, as our first council mission, I of course ignored panic completely and chose the one that gave engineers, because engineers make the stuff cheaper to build, faster to build, and just are better. You absolutely want as many engineers as you can because it's the limiting factor in putting up satellites faster. Yes, absolutely. Uh, also, since I didn't build a satellite, like, day one, uh, I was waiting for this very mission to get engineers to build the next satellite because it'll be about 20, 25 bucks cheaper. Strike one, this is central. You are free to engage all hostile contacts in the AO. Don't take any chances. And Dana, it takes, what, two weeks to build a satellite? Uh, 20 so, days. So you still got time. Yeah. Just for the early game, you want lots of satellites. Yeah. And lots of engineers to build uplinks eventually for more satellites. Indeed. Alright, so uh, Sprawl got Catalina Sprawl, choosing not to rename the first name. Let's see, our sniper. Oh, I'm on Tony White. So Tony White is a sign-up from Private Botch. Uh, Ricky Gunderson is a sign-up from Green Intern. And Nitin Stomperund uh, is a sign-up from Scribblykins. And thank you for giving me a name I will never be able to pronounce correctly, Scribbly. Thanks so much. So the start of this map, I don't really like the deployment zone. It's just these giant fucking canisters everywhere, and I don't quite know how to navigate them. Well, you seem to be doing okay now. I mean, well, yeah. It's just a lot of indecision. A lot of indecision. Are you sniper cheating? Yes, you are. Actually, no. Oh, you put out your pistol and then overwatch. Yeah. Okay, so you're not sniper cheating. No. So there's the meld sense telling me I want to go, I, I guess I'll arbitrarily call that direction northwest. And I don't really sure. like it because of the way the, uh, the canisters are angled. Uh, doing good so far, got a sniper in a good position. Oh, yeah. Everyone else can run up there. Yeah, I got the building to the left. I kind of have the canisters as cover, but they're far away, and mo moving forward from the back end of the canisters means it's got to be a dash. Kind of expected to reveal something with that. Oh, yeah, I, I mentioned it before. The uh, sniper overwatch trick is you uh, overwatch with a pistol, and as it's doing the animation, change to your sniper rifle, and then you overwatch with the sniper rifle. Yep. I, uh, I think I'd do that later on in this video. Yeah, it's okay. Right. It really cuts into the usefulness of uh, sc uh, Snapshot, though. Well, no... Yeah. Snapshot. Snapshot? I, yeah, I don't like Snapshot at all. Yeah. Quiet. Do you hear something? So I got the alien sound waves coming from the direction the meld canister's at. Solid copy. And then I trigger these aliens. So I'm like, oh shit, there's aliens guarding the meld, and I just triggered these two aliens way out here on the complete opposite side. And well, except they all peace outed. Right, but Tony is now also using cover that's defending from 90 degrees the wrong way. Shout out to Macho Madness and Civ 5. <laughs> shit, I had that. Fuck. Jade Star LP. Nothing but quality. Yeah. So, here's my big problem. I've activated aliens to the far right. That meld canister only has two turns, meaning I need to get within range Ooh. of it this turn if I want to salvage it. Yeah, that's interesting. But I've also already detected aliens, well, via sound wave, in the direction of the meld canister. Go for it. No. I, Go for I'm it. not thinking it's worth it, so I'm going to be hesitant on this one, and uh, I'm just not going to go for it. Soldier safety. All these guys have really good stats uh, for starting squaddy, so I don't want to get them killed. But you want that meld. I do want that meld, but I don't want people it's to so die. It's shiny. And your guy close to the aliens has a med kit instead of a grenade. Very nice. Uh, well, that's what I do before <laughs> I get sniper or er, supports with field nope. medic. 
Yeah, just short. Oh, it's about four squares too short. Hmm, is anyone four squares closer to the aliens? Shut up. <laughs> so I like putting medkits on my snipers uh, before scope development and before supports have field medic. Because normally a grenade's not going to matter on a sniper. Especially not when they start getting squad sight. No. So, yeah. You get scopes pretty quickly. That's a, what, a 10% bonus to aim? Yeah, it's plus 10 aim. Eventually, when you get to carry two items, I think everyone should have a scope at all times. Pretty yeah, much. pretty much. Maybe not assaults. Like, that's like an arc thrower and a grenade, maybe. Yeah, I give them an arc thrower and uh, something. I don't know. We'll, th we'll, we'll, go we'll get there. It's, it's going to come up. Yeah. I'm still really indecisive about what to do with Tommy White here, because... I want to move him towards the metal, but I don't want to trigger more aliens. I don't want to leave him where he is in case he gets flanked from the aliens off to the side. So eventually, it's just, I gotta give up position, and I'm not gonna make it to that metal canister. Very disappointed in you. Well, as you proved with your post in the thread, you play a much more aggressive style than I typically do. Oh yeah, do. so I... Well, that, became fr that came from all of the Terror from the Deep and just original XCOM I used to play. I played so much of it. It no longer became if I could beat this, but how quickly can I beat this? All right. Okay. And I eventually just developed this like super aggressive play style, just because it, it wins the mission the fastest. Right. I have some odd compulsion to always try to achieve zero casualties in whatever I play, so I value defense far stronger than offense. And so, as we go through this LP, I'm sure we'll see, you know, two differing theories on all the circumstances. Okay. That, that might come up right here in this uh, situation, depending on what you do versus what I would do. I think you're going to find my solution to the aliens by the meld canister uh, highly innovative and interesting. Oh, I wasn't even thinking about that. I was thinking about these two mind melded guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that you'll appre appreciate what Sprawl does right here. Okay. Yes, that's what I would do. Just go as like full force on the uh, one initiating the mind meld. Well, that wasn't even that aggressive simply because it was within a single move and a grenade. It was a guaranteed safe thing, and now wasn't Sprawl... Wasn't there a third one up there, though? No, it was two. No? Okay. Yeah. And then Sprawl is left in high cover facing the two remaining aliens, so that that wasn't even really an ultra-aggressive move. That was that just a simple, easiest way to deal with them. <laughs> you see what's about to happen here, don't you? Yes, I do! Jade Star. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I can't get to that meld because I can't sprint to it and click oh. on it anymore. Uh, so, grenade. Oh, shush you. Yeah, of all in all. But honestly, I couldn't recover that safely, <laughs> and it was a good chance to kill both sectoids. In yeah, that, um, that I think that was worth it. Yeah. Good to go. So, of course, getting your snipers up on the high ground always a good idea, even though I don't have, um... Oh, any extra squad. elevation bonuses yeah. right now, but... Or, or squad sight, but... Or squad sight. Also, I pulled up the menu there to show his defense is 20. In the last video, he remarked that being elevated gets you a bonus. It doesn't show on this. I don't know if the penalty would apply to the shooter then on their info, but... Yeah, if you, if you look on the info, it uses target as a higher cover or something, I... There's a whole bunch, yeah, all the calculations are behind the scenes, you have to go digging for them. It's never too important, you can just always see the percentage chance to hit when you shoot, so that's that's what's important. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. It wouldn't show there, because how is it going to know whether or not he's elevated versus an opponent that hasn't spawned? Now, here's a mistake. Right. I moved Sprawl forward to that cover and then reloaded. There was no reason I should reload before the end of my turn, and here's why. So those sectoids are way out there, but Sprawl is now on the wrong side of cover because I didn't anticipate needing the second part of her action this turn. Well, at least they can't see you right now. At least they can't see us right now, but that doesn't mean much. So here's Tony White with the attempt to cover up my mistake. And so that'll buy me 20% uh, aim penalty for the sectoids. Aye, aye. And then I also pulled Nidin up here to try to overwatch and prevent a shot. Aye, aye. That guy's totally useless over there. Uh, Gunderson up on the building? Up on the building, yeah. yeah I mean, if he had squad sight, he'd be perfect, because there's a big window in front of the building. But aye, without aye, that, aye. ugh. 
it's really annoying having to work with snipers that don't have squad sight. And right there is the, uh, the Overwatch trick. Now that confused me. Like, what the shit? There's aliens behind my sniper now. I was really worried that would come back and flank me. Do meld canisters make noise? No, they, they make meld sense. Plus, we can see the other meld canister in the building. Uh, oh, okay, but yeah, I can see it right now. I missed that. Yeah. So there's Nidin with the uh, the snapshot that I'd hoped to use to save what's about to happen. But, oh. no. Yeah, Sprawl takes a crit being exposed. Shout out to Carlad and uh, Dota 2. A terrible game. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh man, I forgot. I was recording this late night when I couldn't sleep, and I must not have shut off uh, friends and notifications and so forth. He's down. But there we go, Gunderson with a good sniper shot. Um, I forget right now offhand, but all of these rookies have uh, about 70 plus aim, so I'm really happy I have a competent starter squad for my troops. Okay. Alien object in sight. Plenty of turns on that one. Yeah. You can probably win the map in four turns. Oh, yeah. Typically, uh, the meld canisters come with one that you have to rush for and one that you don't have to rush for. Look at them shooting through the walls. Right through that brick. Right through it. They're starting to lose ground. I don't understand what the sectoid is doing. He just... Gets there, gets shot, and then, I don't know, panics and starts trying to run away. Enemies down. But, uh, then Stomperund shoots him. Maybe the sectoid was panicking. Yeah. I'm rolling. So let's patch up Sprawl, reposition. Don't move. Also, I'm starting to worry about the, uh, the sound we heard of sectoids coming from behind us the previous turn, so that's... Yeah, I'm curious to see what that was about. Yeah. Uh, so that's, again, why I have um, Gunderson there taking cover from the back now. Yeah, in a regular game, you would have been able to change to that character again, click on that and do it, but I, I see you're showing it off that you can't. Yeah, well exactly. Done. Uh, so that is why the first canister was lost. I could have reached it on turn one, or not on turn one, but with one turn remaining, except I wouldn't have been able to click on it. Because my turn would have been over. Yeah, that extra turn you get is super useful on uh, certain bomb defusal missions. Yep. Especially if you're trying to get an achievement. Which we know that you love achievements. Yep, I have all the achievements in this game. So, kind of surprising. Here's those sec toys we heard earlier, and they come around okay. out of the flank and take some nice high cover versus us. How many grenades do you have left? Any? Yeah. Got the one here. I got the one. So I guess the, uh... My guess is you'll take shots with everyone else and then throw the grenade last. Yeah, that is my usual MO. Pretty much. Yeah. Gen 4. Also really disappointed that I can't move, uh, Stomp around up to cover before doing anything, but... Can you get both of those aliens with one grenade? If you have to. I think I can. In that case, I would have just bum-rushed everyone out and standing out in the open just to get a better shot. Yeah, well, that's where, you know, you and I differ. Since, yeah, well, <laughs> since you know your backup plan is going to kill both of them. Yeah. That's affirmative. I wasn't entirely sure, though, because it was short to check. I had to move up and then check, and I probably could have killed both of them with one grenade, but... Yeah, probably. I think you would have been fine. Yeah. So I leave Nidden out in the open knowing that that's probably going to be the last the alien. Blow him up. Teams are standing by for your orders. We can begin researching the newly recovered artifacts. So how many did you actually kill of those three? Or of those eight, it was like three that you shot and killed? Um, Maybe four? One died from a mine meld. Yeah, that counts as an actual shooting it. Okay. You get uh, the fragments from it. I got the one on board. Overwatch. Got the other one with a sniper. I think I, could, I shot four. Yeah, that's yeah, that's good for the early games. Yeah, best skill, one yeah. of the best skills right there. So sprawl becomes an assault, which I'm glad to have. Uh, an 80 aim assault, I'm very happy with that. Assaults don't need aim; they should you, they should be firing from point blank. <laughs> aim still helps. 
Uh, and then Stomperund becomes another sniper, but an 87 aim squatty sniper. Very, very happy with that. Pretty deadly. Yeah. So, yeah, eight weapon fragments, so that means I took four of them alive. Or not alive, but not exploded. So our reward is engineers. Command we can have a workshop now. And uh, we'll get into the panic management maybe after this video, maybe after the next one. Right now, it doesn't even really matter. There's very little panic in the world. We will be in touch, Commander. Oh, in the Situation Room. Every yeah. member of the Council is going to want satellite coverage, so we should plan our deployments carefully. So we can see that Africa and Asia have a little bit of panic, which is actually kind of ideal, because those are the first two places I want to cover with satellites anyway. So using satellites to mitigate panic and get their continent bonuses is a win-win situation. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I might have to do Egypt and China at the end of the month, though. Instead of focusing on one region. Yeah, it sounds likely. Yeah, I'll cover the base uh, management stuff uh, in detail and thread. Uh, it, it's just... It's text. It's not very exciting for video. So we should be going to build some satellites right now? I should be. Um, that, of course, is going to be done off camera. This is just the outro screen. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll put up the base management stuff after this video in a uh, text post. And uh, keep the signups coming. I picked these four early on because I was having another insomnia outbreak and just decided I wanted to get recording as soon as possible. Signups are still open for probably the next video or two. Uh, and thank you for watching. I'm Jade Star. I'm Guava Moment. And this has been uh, XCOM.